Das so, Conclusion? Conclusion, ja. ja. Die Ergebnisse werden präsentiert von einzelnen Arbeitsgruppen. Jedes einzelne Team hat dann irgendwas gearbeitet und das wird jetzt vorgestellt, damit man auch ein bisschen Einblick bekommt, was die anderen so gemacht haben oder als Ergebnis rausbekommen haben. Und er, er ist ja jetzt der Moderator auch, ne? Genau, der macht den Integrity Hack. Der hat das hier in Excel, hat er mir eben erklärt, ja. habe ich auch aufgenommen. Ja. Da hat er die, die, die ganze Matrix so. Und die ist jetzt auch gemappt mit dem, was hier passiert. Richtig. Und es ist zeitlich getaktet. Das ist ja auch nochmal ganz interessant, dass hier tatsächlich ein harter Cut auch gemacht wurde. Also trotz des ganzen Chaos, das sich natürlich entwickelt aus so einer Konferenz heraus, gerade wenn man die dann in Gruppenarbeit schickt. Aber es wurde tatsächlich noch das Protokoll durchgezogen, auch stringent. Selbst wenn jemand dann ausfällt in einer Gruppe, aber es ging trotzdem insgesamt noch mhm. auf jeden Fall weiter. Mhm. Das hat er durchgezogen und das ist diese Arbeitsform, die hat, denke ich, auch ganz gute Ergebnisse, die jetzt gleich präsentiert werden. Mhm. Aber für meine Gruppe so, für mich selber habe ich gemerkt, also wir haben was Konkretes auf jeden Fall erarbeitet. Ja, ja cool. Wo es weitergeht, praktisch. Ja, wir sind aus meiner Gruppe. Okay. So, uh, is there a team that would like to start? We have a team that would like to start uh, approximately 90 seconds for you. Silence, everybody. We don't need a mic. Hi there. Um, we began by considering the question of like, what, what is the identity of the metaphor, and who are we, and that sort of thing. But then, as we talked through it, we sort of realized that even according to Stafford Beer, the purpose of a system is what it does. The performance and the actual the action of groups is the most important thing. So then we turned ourselves around to questioning our purpose and what we're supposed to actually be achieving. Um, oh, we're to be <laughs> uh, and we ended up with John, silence, please. I don't know. So we ended up with a sort of statement of our purpose. This is our this is our insight, at least, and we're we're hoping to kind of speak on behalf of everyone. But we're probably going to get it wrong, so it's open for refinement. Um, we want to inspire people to make society more vital. Um, our role is to offer the vital system model and related techniques of cybernetics to help people achieve this. And our, our role essentially is to offer uh, practical support, education, and theory to these kinds of initiatives. And again, to restate the objective, to inspire people to make society more vital. I guess that's it. <laughs> Teaching yes, systems. Right, that's so connection. we go into the teaching because that's important for uh, the complete ecosystem. When it's probably very important. So, to some practical steps we want to take. We were about the teaching of the VSM, but there are already a lot of initiatives. So we start with a system two activity coordination, the inventorization of what already there is. Um, and try to learn from that and then sort of work group so we create a new concept within Metaphor it's called work group to get some work done um, or maybe developing a program for a certain uh, group um, and maybe it might be very interesting and if it's there already done that would be nice to have insight in that is that uh, as the modeling of Wilma was a good example, maybe the modeling of um, a learning child, maybe an eight-year-old child, what is the system of that and how could a teacher benefit from that practice to improve the being of their child? That's it. It's within now. <laughs> Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs>
So who's next? Who would like to present? Well done. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Like seven? Oh, oh. Yeah, you, you can do it. Yeah, I will. I will. We have to be together. Stand next to you. That's great. Okay. Um, yeah. Our idea was um, how we can make um, yeah, the metaphor more feasible. How to get more into contact with it. Uh, we are a group not very connected, so this is our first metaphor. Our participants. And for us, we decided, or we found out that this was very um, difficult to understand what is metaphorum, and there should be some better guidance and some contact person and some understanding what is that metaphorum for. And the first group already made the purpose for the metaphorum or some idea, and for us, it's uh, yeah, important to have some maybe steering committee, some contact person, and some explanation on the website what is it all about, what is the Participants, what is the reason of all of that? So uh, that's in general our uh, solution. Anything to add? No. no. <laughs> thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Um, I will ask you later again, but I will ask you already now if you have any outcomes or insight, just leave them on the table as a bundle. And don't touch them anymore. Uh, the logistics will catch them later and uh, prepare them for the, for the website. We don't have logistics. would You do the first two and I'll do this one. Okay. Yes, here's Wolfgang and Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the lady? Yeah. Uh, she left. She had a plate. That's always a question. <laughs> I was standing with a glass in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are what's left from the pink team. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, so, we, <laughs> um, we wanted to, to uh, let all the talk behind of us and, and go to action. So, what uh, we came up with was that we wanted to raise understanding by solving problems in a game. And uh, so, so people can learn through experience. Another, please. Learning through experience. And by progressive problem solving, we could hold the motivation up. A password would be gamification. Um, we would uh, induce Two, comp uh, two competitions. The first to a competition to develop games for difficult, uh, different ages and um, VSM games. Yes, VSM games. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, special idea was to, to generate a wiki for the challenges because it's quite tricky to um, get to, uh, to find the right. I don't start my class for this. Um, you need to test for the problem. The problems are challenges. <laughs> yeah. Induce the learning. So you need really experienced seven dishes to find the right problems. Are they here? <laughs> won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. It's the job application measure. And the second, uh, the second uh, competition would be a uh, competition between the, the players of the games. Who's next? Can we go? Yeah, you can go. Any? You want to? <laughs> Would you like to have a mic? And it's, uh, it's one presentation. Yes, one presentation. Okay, then it's 90 seconds. Bit and then I'll do the last Where's the partner? Oh, well, they all left. Right. You're on your own now. So we started off with wanting to, to understand. All right, okay. We want to see the governance reinvented to take advantage of technology and transparency. We started off with democracy, but we realized that's just one form of. So we're really talking about governance. 
And then we spoke about, we finally concluded that metaphorum, we had to look at the metaphorum aspect of how uh, it would be, it would influence this redesign. And therefore we were talking more of, of ourselves offering a tool set, a conversation, kind of applications. I think Paul Stokes was saying earlier on, it'd be good to know who is applying what and what their experiences were. Right? Then we also discussed what is the purpose. There were two purposes we needed to address. The purpose of metaphorum, and it's a different thing, the purpose of freedom. And we need to realize that cohesion and autonomy coexist. So it's not just a conversation on freedom. And this cohesion is higher levels of recursion, and the autonomy is what we call freedom here. So we kind of explored these concepts. Um, what we ended up with was five, uh, five items uh, that we would participate in the website by contributing content uh, in this area, that would re we would report the comments from this meeting, that we'd, we would develop resources to define terms and explore the terms of autonomy, cohesion, governance, and freedom, that we would challenge everyone to describe what freedom means to them and in what context, and finally, that we would look to sharing resources, including Syntegration, the Violative System Model, Homeostatic Relationships, and the various scope that Vladimir described. And he's too shy to stand up. But Vladimir was part of it. The whole time. Wonderful. Thank you. We were also uh, working in the area of freedom. We were uh, we have a problem with the question. Yeah, and with the second part of the question. To redesign freedom. So from the political uh, philosophy, we were debating and we have found fundamental problems in defining the, the question. So we were focusing the second part in, in designing or redesigning the system taking Stafford Beer the uh, elements when he was writing the book. Uh, by learning to learn to experiential learning, uh, we will be able to redesign the, the, the system. So we will focus on that, uh, inviting to reflect about this second part, to think about the, the questions. Uh, in the process of empowering bottom-up processes, uh, for instance, working with disadvantaged communities or vulnerable people in the National Health Service uh, to engage them in redesigning the process uh, of designing the system. So that was the invitation for the different groups. You made a, you made a just connection between the, the group before you and this group. Maybe there's a group that can add to this uh, presentation. Uh, we are the uh, team Deep Purple, and uh, we, all of us, uh, we three, we are very uh, pragmatic. So uh, we came out with an idea and an action plan for the next five months. And uh, the basic idea, um, the kind of label you can put on our idea is uh, open educational resources. Um, so um, the idea in one sentence is uh, the creation of open educational resources under the label of Metaforum, um, curated content in alignment with already existing material and specific VSM um, systemic uh, cybernetic focus. Um, the, the background is, uh, it has to do with uh, all of our backgrounds and uh, what we actually can achieve in the next uh, couple of months. And Mark has an uh, appointment already with a, a local school here from Düsseldorf, <coughs> um, where he can put forward uh, the idea. And um, uh, because of uh, connections and um, possibilities, we think we can uh, start with uh, some kind of prototype um, in the next months or so, and um, try to um, spread the idea and um, present some material um, by the end of the year. Last, last, last one thing. You also wanted to do something. Uh, yes, I am I'm responsible for a platform 
uh, delivering digital media to schools. And I will have looking, uh, we're looking forward to uh, see how we can instrumentalize this platform to distribute material to schools. But this should be not only on a German-based focus, it should be on an international-based focus. And we call our system a strong attractor for people from the outside world to gain interest into cybernetics. You must have noted this also, this, this was a team that worked upstairs, the yellow team was working downstairs, and they were talking about the same things. So. <coughs> Right, our, our, our group, um, we have one person missing, who is gone, but um, we were looking at how to break our own BSM bubble. And um, the, the suggestions were trying to think on the BSM as a means rather than a focus for the Metaforum, and trying to become a vibrant, critical learning community, invite more diversity, other practitioners, non-BSM experts, uh, encouraging innovative practice, um, clarifying the issue of BSM, what does it mean BSM for good design and freedom, uh, learn from other learning networks and approaches, uh, be a more decentralized network, uh, true to BSM principles, uh, repurpose perhaps the lean team, making it more attractive, more inclusive, uh, using teams integrity as a basis for collaborative networks and also putting more emphasis in teams integrity in the meta forum. Um, linking up with other communities which are already good designing freedom, like for instance SOLID, and um, thinking about doing another conference, a second conference on redesigning freedom um, uh, to, 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 to develop further these ideas, uh, and being aware of challenges like for instance how to balance tension uh, between openness and inclusiveness without compromising the basic cybernetic principles. Uh, how to keep the Metaforum attractive, alive, between conferences, and somebody said, <coughs> super sexy. Uh, so so uh, trying to have more charismatic, passionate members, try to keep inviting people with this uh, feeling. And finally, including consulting as well, developing as a way for consultants as well. Yes, you're a moment ago. Thank you. First thing is, is my voice okay at the back? Because I know the mic's a bit yeah. difficult sometimes. Yes. Okay, we're the green team, and in, that, in iteration one, we sort of collaborated to produce what our statement is, which is that we should create an online and offline platform to support trust and collaboration within a set of declared metaphor and values and principles. Excellent. So we think that's what we figured out we can do. And that those should reinforce one another and also allow external validation so that when people come in, they see us behaving as we say we behave. We have a lot of the feedback we got from the other, other iterations, which is that we say we're cybernetic, but we don't actually behave cybernetic. Sure. Looks like you've got me. Can I do myself? All right. Just pull it with me. <laughs> 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 um, iteration two, once we've been around and, and met some of the other teams as either uh, critics or observers, we realised that what was required is a starting point for the collaboration. What are we going to collaborate about? And the first thing to collaborate about is getting a plain and simple manifesto together around the identity of metaphor which should include those principles and values, and also that whatever we do should be cybernetic to include things like feedback. Um, that then, would you go straight to insights, give you the insights of the title. Yeah, design design. Our commitments. Yep. Can we read our own commitments? Maybe. Yep. So it makes it more appropriate. So I commit, <laughs> I, I commit in, 30 in front of you to uh, help set up some in, uh, internal collaboration tools, so online yeah. collaboration, and uh, looking at Shane and a few others who can, can put their hand up for that, and uh, then also to explore the, how, how uh, people from outside might sign up, what would they get, and how would they understand the principles that would come up. Yeah, my, my commitment is around 
helping to map who the personas are with whom Metaforum must interact. That includes personas within Metaforum, new people coming in who do not understand cybernetic but want to, as well as experienced people <coughs> within this community. But also, one of the very strong points that came through is that Metaforum is part of a meta-systemic uh, uh, well, system actually around the planet based on this and we need to interact with that and generate trust. How are we going to behave to generate trust between those personas so that we can actually collaborate? Does Raoul get a say? Raoul had the last say. He had the yeah. rules. Well, we have the very, time. very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Time. I think... <laughs> no, not time yeah. for us. <laughs> I think simply is that uh, we have a cyber systemic world in which we are part of and the, the whole debate was how do we increase our capacity to participate in that cyber systemic world at the same time that we increase the strength of trust and participation within the uh, metaphor. Mm. Okay. Thank you. So the one who's still standing from the dark blue team that was uh, doing work downstairs. So yeah, I would like to not fly to your Sorry. Uh, uh, because he's 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 the one who's still standing from the dark blue team. The other two members are Ralph and James. Uh, our aim is to support the growth of a global online metaphorum network and the idea we came up with was we've seen today a very impressive use of what we're calling Beyond Dispute 2.0 which avoids the S word um, and it's a very impressive simplification of the uh, icosahedron process we would like to take this Beyond Dispute 2.0 and put it totally online and um, we need a small development team for this, so we hope to be able to attract a core team. And this would be an experimental space. Uh, we would be designing it along the principles and values of the SM and Beyond Dispute. And it would be peer-reviewed, and we wouldn't want to lose the good points from the physical. It, uh, what we don't want to do is create an app or any sort of um, programming. We want this to be a set of processes, which might be in spreadsheets, Word documents, or whatever that could run on any and every online platform including email, Slack, Moodle and so on. So this would make it uh, platform independent and our insights is it can be done, be pragmatic and be part of, part of an ecosystem. It's so much fun to present in the metaphor. I wish I could do one. It's yours. Okay, I'm starting with the insights. This, this team here, we came with the insight that Metaphorum needs to provide a service to support and develop new ideas through collaboration, which would include dealing with problems that people might have and challenges and whatever else comes up. We need to do this by firstly establishing a platform, providing feedback and discussion and peer mentoring, and we decide that everything has to be open source and freely available. This would lead to new tools and methods and papers, which would then be available to be put in the repository. And in order to bring this into reality, we need to, number one, ensure there is clear signposting from the website. Secondly, agree the sort of platform we want. Um, we need to design a template to make things easy to put on. Define a system to which are the protocols for the platform. And then launch it. And the three of us have made the commitment to do this. Thank you. Who's up next? Yes? We're almost done with the rules, I guess. Just like blue, like that, just like blue. You still, you still, on, who, who has to present next? One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. So keep your time, then uh, we'll be fine. Go. Okay. Um, our 
theme was connection and sharing information. And I promise we didn't copy from what you said. <laughs> but it's up in here. And the, the first thing to do you is to establish plus, trust and build relationships mm -hmm. online and offline, <laughs> word for word. Uh, that yeah. online, there's already, a, there's already a team that's working on building an online platform, uh, but offline as well, where you have local clusters of people that actually meet face to face, and how you build relationships is actually meeting where possible, but online, to be able to um, meet online too. So the idea would be that you have different types of people. With experts, you have newcomers, and to create a body system, where experts and learners, so that you have a mentor system to allow people to evolve in that way. What else? Um, action groups, so whatever's coming out of today, to form action groups that people take responsibility for putting things in place. Um, and using the VSM model to help build on solutions rather than fitting the solutions into the VSM model. And to expand the horizons beyond VSM perhaps to include Agile, Theory U, etc. and bring the best of all of the different systems together to create possibly something new. Right. Gary or yeah. whoever. Uh, inspired in various ways, uh, Jose's social networks redesign, mix, grand challenge, um, and I'm amazed at the convergence between what, what people are coming out with here. Um, our starting point was this, the, the, the talk that I gave last night about 100 communities um, building social networks that are all linked, uh, 100 communities building uh, sustainable collaborative uh, economies linked by, by the system. And um, what we want from the Meta Forum is collaborators, other people to join us, and there are several of the projects which sound like they're, they're doing, agreeing that, that anyway. Um, particularly to put in the viable systems bit of it, make sure that that doesn't get lost in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the team which is already growing out there. Um, and uh, the second, in our second iteration, we thought this network, the, these, these tools that are coming, will feed back to Metaforum so that Metaforum enables, is, is easily able to create a viable system out of itself. Um, we are certainly committed to doing work on this anyway. Um, as a, a first step using existing tools, uh, there's John Waters. Um, well, nobody knows. He's gone. Anyway, to get the train. Yeah, train. He was going to set up um, an open source version of Slack called Mattermost, which I didn't know beforehand, for us for our use after this conference, instead of Slack, which is commercial and has the free version is very limited. So that's it. I want I want people to talk to me afterwards, collaborators. <laughs> There's still coffee and cake, so you will be fine. Yeah, well, it, oh, uh, your time is up. Oh, uh, it's too still. Yeah, uh, while we walk uh, toward the chair, this conference has a kind of <laughs> 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 I think they lost, haven't they? Yeah. And I have to ask us anyway. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll start. Um, so over the last few days, uh, the last two days, we've um, heard a lot of hope that uh, we want to make change, that, um, but there's also been a little disappointment that not as much change has come out of this movement. Um, so we, I didn't hear the first group, I was coming down the stairs exactly what they were saying, but um, we felt that there needs to be we, we learned that there is a mission state, statement from Metaform. Um, we propose to strengthen the mission statement in terms of the ethical dimensions and to describe the change that we want to see and how we can facilitate that change. 
Um, we propose a, a, visit, a vision. Um, we'll just put out one sentence from the beginning. We believe in creating a future that empowers autonomy within cohesion. This was like a collaboration of all the hearing that we did today um, and discussion. Um, we want to um, yeah, describe this is what we are, this is what we believe, and make it an invitation to invite people who believe that are like us to be a part of Metaform. Um, we were both, this was our first uh, Metaform, um, so we are newbies. Uh, we suggest for the next um, meeting, uh, Metaform, that there is uh, maybe um, a des description of the BSM, or maybe the first day there is a little bit of time where there is uh, time set aside for the people to be uh, the newbies. To get familiar with the BSM. So maybe just like half an hour. Maybe yeah. Hugh are the last ones. Hugh. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. we have speakers over there. Okay. Yes. Are there left or are there still other teams? I didn't keep the numbers. Okay. Okay. So, over the preamble is basically a few things we got out of our group and the critics and maybe the observers, but not officially, obviously. So, um, we thought what we hear pulling is better than pushing. So, how to pull? In this sense, it's um, the sentence, little drops of water make the ocean. Um, and you can basically say, show, don't tell, right? So, it's about not only going the academic route, but also the practitioner route of actually doing something. So, what is the role of the Metaforum? How can the Metaforum provide the tools? So here's basically a identity, an ethos, a system five, and a uh, exemplary system one. The identity, really short, enabling 21st century cybernetic organizations. And the <coughs> or system ones under this would be then um, to reach this, attract, so it's marketing, multiply, education, connect, basically networking, and reinvent, which is dynamic and R&D. Yeah. And uh, then there was the question how system two and four and governance, and then there's just this little minimal viable governance model. You can think if it's viable. So instead of going the democracy route, basic democracy, um, we said, okay, Everyone who visited one Metaforum gets one point, so if you were at all, you get four points. Mm -hmm. And with these points, you then can vote a circle of elders, and the circle of elders enforces then the system to mm -hmm. act actually in the real world. Right. Yeah. We're longing for it. Yeah. <laughs> very briefly, what it was to have taken a very cautious approach, that, for instance, just uh, they're inventing uh, God, <coughs> inventing freedom. Uh, we could use, in the inventive field, could use metaphor, but let's say VSM as a, for instance, studying the dialectics of freedom, because freedom is a too broad and not so absolute okay. notion. Thank you. So, again, I would like to stress to all of you to leave your outcomes and insights on the table in a way that we can collect it and make it a part of the uh, the outcome reports that we would like to uh, um, publish on the, on the Metaphor website. And you made it, as, you made it quite easy for us because uh, um, if, if you overlook the outcomes, we can, we can uh, sample them or map them to a VSM that we all know or we start learning about. And, um, and in the, uh, uh, the description of the, the VSM parts of the Metaphor, we already we will see the viability uh, of the forum grow. So thank you very much. Um, a word on next year in the closing. Yeah. Um, where's Pia? There's Pia. I asked Pia if she could imagine that we go next year <laughs> again here to a sip date. Because I think it was relatively cool here. We had food, technology, drinks, everything. And uh, 
uh, of course I cannot promise anything because I have to ask, but I promise to ask. <laughs> and yeah, the other guys uh, who are in charge here um, of the event organization. So would it be a good idea for? Does it sound feasible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Nothing special. Yeah, I, again, thank you, Pia, and where's Marcus? There was a guy in the background helping a lot, and so we say the man behind the man behind the man. So, Marcus, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Announcement about the metaphor. The meeting next year. No, today. Okay, okay. Yes, I want to <laughs> <laughs> this, this is awkward for a lead facilitator. The public pours in and asks. <laughs> no, just to let you know that whoever wants to participate will always do a, a, the metaphor meeting, the annual meeting, by the end of the conference. You are all invited. And in this meeting, we will revise a little bit what happened in this conference. We will plan on the topic for the next conference. We don't need to plan on the place for the next conference, but for the time being, we have a, 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 an opportunity. But uh, we are, you, are, you are all invited and uh, very welcome to stay with us, okay? Whoever wants to stay. Thank you. Hello, excuse me. Uh, um, okay, a uh, lot of talk about <coughs> getting horizontal uh, communication going. Uh, it may come as a surprise that this metaphor group does actually have a list serve. Um, yeah. And I actually am the administrator of the list serve at my university in, in Dublin. So uh, it's kind of gone a little bit quiet in the yeah. last while, but it, it is still working, it's still functioning. Now, if you want to get onto the list serve, <clears throat> email me and I'll add you. Uh, Paul.stokes at ucd.ie. I, I just put my email up there for me. It's at the top of the board. Um, yeah, so that's it. And um, those who haven't left your emails in the world, please do it. Yeah. Uh, I have also put my email in the world for those who made presentations and are happy to share your presentations in web the website. Please email your presentations to me and I will upload them in the website. And finally, I, will, I think that one of the things that, that emerged from here was the need to clarify the members. So it would be very nice if those of you who want to be in the website as Metaphor members that you are from now, send me just a very brief CDS with your picture and then we will start getting a, a clear representation of all the members. Okay? Thank you. So then uh, there's time to say thank you to Mark. It's a typical gesture of tradition that um, when uh, Santa Claus draws near, it's the 5th of December in the Netherlands, you can buy these uh, uh, chocolate uh, uh, letters. So I thought for Carl, for Renata, for Mark, I would buy chocolate letters each one of you. They're very simple. Thank you very much. The joke is in the box. So if you leave this room uh, for now, um, I would like to invite you to, to take a card from uh, one of these uh, places here, and if you uh, come back next year, take it back in, and we will start with your card. I'm going, I'm going, give me Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.